All right, guys, day two of the trip. Time to gas up the boat and hit the water. Let's go. Like glass today. All right, guys, well, I had a little bit of GoPro issues, but I went to catch this fish and the thing was off and then it didn't want to turn on. So here we go, first fish. He's been on for a little while. Like I said, we're at the tail end of the outgoing tide. I'm fishing the channel ledge, as you can tell by that buoy down there. It, it's uh, like 26 feet, drops down into the high 30s out here. And I'm just kind of spanned across that this guy came out in the deeper stuff. It's actually not a terrible fish to start off the day. I'm starting to swim up now. I don't have my net ready. I don't have my other camera going. I don't even have my six rod out. Which isn't say much. It takes a little while to get six rods out by yourself. But this was a quick hitting fish. Had a couple taps before that. So that's a good sign. I think I should add a float to that because when I'm by myself, there's a good chance I'm going to lose that thing. Probably don't need to net it. Get that net going. Ooh, how did he stay on with, with all that messing around? It's kind of in his jaw. Bone. Got a wind coming from the northwest, but more from the west. That kind of sucks, but it's going to be better than a straight north wind after this tide changes so i'm not going to complain too much there it is guys not a bad starter kind of like yesterday's starter which was two up or which was uh, an episode ago for you guys what do you guys say for yourself you're still hungry aren't you Go back there and tell them that this shad tastes good. All right, I'm gonna get my other camera set up. I'll get this back out and get my other camera set up. Just got that other camera set up, cool. Looks like they might be sitting deeper. I'll probably take that last rod and put it down here on the side, casting the deeper stuff. They're gonna keep keep doing that. Coming from there. It's gonna put a 10 ounce on, but I may put uh, like 14 ounces just to try to keep it out there. It's also got a float, which in current can really drag your bait down. Gonna take my time. Like I said, fishing kind of deep. I wanna bring it up slow. Give it a chance to burp out. Give it a chance to come up on its own. There it is, little, little fella. If there's little ones, there's gotta be big ones. I think that one's bouncing now. Unless it's me. Let's see, you got. Yeah, it's whisker hooked. I'm gonna have to lip it. I took my gloves off too. Oh, I got me. Little ones, man, they got the sharper teeth. Number two, he's a dinker. Not gonna get much time here, but. Cool, two fish that quick, that's a good sign. All right, this guy on the side here, it was one of my last rods left, and it's going down. Yep, it's on. 
Guys are getting net cam, huh? You're not missing much if you couldn't see it anyway. Yeah, me fishy. What do we got? My hands are torn up from yesterday. Getting that big fish to come back to life. That was like a week ago for you guys, but you know what I mean. Burp. Yeah, get it out. There it is. Last fish of this spot, probably. Yep. All right, now this line's in. That 14 ounces held it in place, that's for sure. Made it feel like a bigger fish, too. Look at this little shad head. That thing is perfect. I'm not usually a big fan of shad heads, but I think that guy's going to catch me a fish. Hopefully a big one. trying a little bit harder at least what we got here get in that other line it's hard to say might be a scotch bigger Hey, that one looks a lot bigger though. That one looks pretty good. Nope, just just meaner. I'll let him on there. That's a double though for sure. If he stays on. He's gonna get into all my lines. Yep, so I just cruised up. You can still kind of see the buoy I was at before. Just I cruised up and I, I didn't get exactly to where I wanted to get to. But I saw some uh, some good marks and a lot of them, so I wanted to give it a shot. See what kind of mess we got here. He swam up pretty far. He's still on. Nah, I think he got it off. Yeah. Oh well. He wasn't. He didn't feel very big at all. I, I don't feel too bad about that. All right, here's the one I managed to get in. Not bad. <laughs> I want better though. We'll get a good one. I'm not worried, they're in here. Okay, there's a fish. These fish hit so hard, don't they? I would have sworn that was a big one. Just about at slack time. We might have 10 more minutes left. And then my boat's gonna get really stupid. And I'll pretty much have to just be, I'll have to go out in the deeper stuff and cast onto the ledge. Because my boat's gonna be facing west, southwest. Hey. This one wasn't as deep, probably about 25 foot of water. He's little. I think with the sun though being out, I think soon they're going to be moving into the shallows to start feeding. 
I think that's where the bait's gonna go. We got this wind blowing to the west into this cove back here. It's actually a creek, but uh, they're probably gonna start following that bait back there if they haven't already. A better fisherman would probably go back there and check it out. I will get a big fish here eventually, don't you worry. Hopefully a couple big fish. One little bit or one one big one would be nice. A bunch of big ones would be really nice. Just gotta figure them out today. This wind's not helping. Another eater fish. All right, he's going in the live well too. All right, so what I have going on now, it's slack tied, like no current whatsoever. So with this west wind coming, I've got my boat up on the, the shallow side of the channel and I have the wind blowing me so that I'm facing out into the channel. And it drops off pretty quick back here. Uh, I saw a lot of perch. Um, hoping there's some catfish mixed in there with them. I definitely saw some catfish coming up the edge of the channel. But I'm going to fish this for probably about a half hour, 40 minutes until the tide figures itself out. Then move up. Um, you hear me mention tide a lot. This, this river is tidal and it really affects how you fish it. Um, it's just so if you come down here to fish it, just be aware of it. Check out Navionics, check out the tide charts. It really helps out a lot. All right, finally stuck one here. I put some bigger baits on and they're having a hard time getting it. He's on, oh my God, is he little. Corey was just jetting towards me. I think it's both. Come here, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, he's bigger than I thought he was. He's not big, but bigger. I probably should have let him burp out a little bit more. He's got a chunky belly. Ten minutes into this spot, one big enough not to go into the frying pan. Something big under my boat right now. I see it hanging out by the transducer. But yeah, I put some bigger chunks on here, and these little guys are struggling with it. But he he managed to get it. Bro, start recording. This guy's been trying forever. Finally got the hook in his mouth. Mm -hmm. -dee -dee -dee. Got a little fishy inside, dude. Being in the open seas right now. Ridiculous right now. Here. Ooh, yeah. Burp it out. Burp it out. This 
fish are starting to all look familiar here. Gotta do something about this when this when uh, this river figures itself out. All right. I'm still getting them even in this crap. Just need to get bigger. This one's got potential to be bigger than the rest. Uh, he's pulling in another line too, I think. Yep. So I see another one I can get. That's a thrower backer finally. Two two thrower backers out of this spot. You can burp though. Woo! Freaking waves are getting a little crazy here. Alright. I don't know what it's gonna look like with that sun. How about we do this? Putting a lot of effort into showing off a little fish here. There he is. You guys probably seasick, huh? There we go. He's fine. I'm going to start moving up river though. Starting to get the lines going this way. Hopefully by the time I get situated up there, put the drift sock out, I'll be able to set up. This one's on. Yeah. Stuck him this time, guys. I marked a lot of fish. I, was, I thought the action would be a little bit quicker here, but this one's not feeling all too bad. There's, there's a guy. I was a guy. This one's not feeling too hateful. Take it. Man, I need to get something big though. Yeah, I was wrong. He's just doing the, the tail curl thing. He's not big at all. Chewed up. I'm probably gonna end up missing a lot of fish. You're not gonna see much of it, but I'm gonna miss a lot of fish. I put bigger baits on, trying to catch some bigger fish. I'm tired of only showing you guys little fish. Oh man, this thing's all torn up. Got some action on the outside. Oh, oh. All right. I think that, oh, I was trying. Oh, like I was saying, I'm gonna miss a lot because of these bigger baits. Fish. Oh my god. We got five helicopters and an airplane and road noise. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to yell for you guys to hear me. This one's bigger than this one I just caught at least. That looks important.
And there's the airplane. This guy's all over the place. Man, come on. Even with these bigger chunks, I'm catching little fish. Greedy. It's bigger than that other one, but just barely. These fish are all rashed up in here. It's weird. Little fella, that's the first one. He's going into the cooler. Need one big one to turn this all around here. There's number two. Jeez, freak fish. <laughs> I was looking up Navionics trying to find a spot to fish that might be different than this. Man, they hit so mean. These rods aren't that light. It's amazing how hard these smaller guys fold it. Got a little bit of spunk. Got some spunk, yeah. Might be my biggest of the day here. Certainly giving up me a lot more of a fight than those others. Might actually need my net. Whoa. Waiting them out, I guess. Yeah, this is a decent fish here, guys. <laughs> it's giving me a fight. Oh, he's way out there. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, dive back down, you turd. I don't want to drag you all the way up here. Big head on this thing. But he's opening up his mouth, which sucks. Full current, big fish, they just open up their mouth like a big freaking bucket. Not a whole lot you can do against that. Definitely a netter. Come here. I know you don't want to go in it, but you gotta. Gotcha. Oh, I needed you so bad. Oh yeah, you're way bigger than I thought you were. Oh, you're heavy. Oh, my stuff. It's not super long, just a very compact, fat fish. That one's starting to go. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Got one on. Well, I probably shouldn't have let off. He might still be on there. Let me get this guy out of the net here. That's a chunkster. Ooh. 
fat fish. That one's just gonna have to wait. This one's bigger than that. This big one still has some teeth. They usually don't. This one's got some sharp stuff. There it goes. Just in case I need it again. All right, I think this one's still on out there. All right. And I'm recording. Oh, it feels good to get that guy in the boat. Oh, this one might not be bad either. Heavier than I first gave him credit for, that's for sure. Nothing like that other guy, though. Like hearing that Jake break in the background, it's, it's wonderful. Man, I've been struggling to find anything of size today. You guys saw and last night too, or last evening, like I tried everything I could. Today I'm putting bigger baits on and I just can't find giant fish. That one's pretty toadish. acting like a shark down there. I think. <sighs> this guy's just going for a cruise. Right. Here's number two. Get that one back in the water. And I'll show you guys this big one. For those of you guys that care, it's 35 pounds. Good fish. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. I'll take this. Yeah. Fish are starting to get active. And uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. Get you in before another one folds over. Oh, he's got tons of energy. Get out of here. There it goes. Awkward release, but he's doing fine. He was just really confused. He was rolling. And when I let go, he came down upside down. That always throws him off. But good fish. The action's picking up. Let's see what happens after this. Talking to no one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one has a head chunk on it. He folded pretty good. Doesn't feel all that bad, but I've been wrong so many times today. He's coming up like he's not, it's not no 30 pounder, that's for sure. Come on, fish, per pound. You're big enough that you gotta swim away. Probably like all the other decent fish I've had today. They're not that decent, really. There he is. Yep, it was a head chunk. Oh my God, I think these helicopters, they just fly around all day long. They have nothing else to do. All day, just fly in circles. stick to it he's decent he had this line wrapped up too like somehow from rolling i guess it's a good little end capper if he's my last fish uh, i don't know if i'll get anything at the next spot probably but i'm not gonna spend much time there but if this is the last fish thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around through this episode I'm, with all the noise and the chop the wind everything i'm sure I cut out a lot of fish. I mean, there's tons of action. I'll never complain about the action. One big fish though, is kind of weird with all the other fish that are biting. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I even switched to bigger baits to try to keep the little guys off, but uh, whatever. I mean, I had a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Thanks for watching. 
The flatties are coming real soon. They're maybe by the end of this episode they'll be biting. So thanks a lot for watching.